credit default swaps. Credit default swaps are essentially just insurance on a security, meaning on a share. Equity tranche buyers might buy these assets in case their shares become worthless, they would be able to get some money back so their losses aren't as bad, if anything, in the long term. In essence, this insurance shorts the market, or only pays out if the mortgage-backed securities they insure fail. It's used to protect mortgage-backed security buyers from high risk. The payout would increase based on the tranche level, but it would also cost more up front. For example, equity tranches are high risk, which would make the credit default swap for this level pretty expensive, and the swap itself would only pay out relatively a little. Basically just enough to cover the losses and lessen the blow. If we go to the senior tranche, credit default swaps would be cheap. Since credit default swaps are bets that the market will fail or the underlying security will lose value, that's pretty unlikely for the senior tranche, so they don't have to be that expensive. That said, it also means they have a very high rate of return or payout when this does happen. After all, why would investors buy the credit default swap if they didn't pay out a ton, since for the senior tranche they were unlikely to pay out at all? Basically, credit default swaps are just insurance on a stock, just like insurance on a car. In 2008, though, this market got interesting. You don't have to own the underlying security or stock to purchase the credit default swap on it. Banks in 2008 were willing to sell credit default swaps on senior tranche CDOs, or just CDOs in general, since it was assumed that there was a crazy tiny chance that these CDOs or mortgage-backed securities would pay out. To the banks, it was basically free money, selling something that would never cost them anything, or so they thought. No one in theory would want to buy that though, either. Senior tranches and high-level rated mortgage-backed securities don't lose money, so buying a credit default swap for these assets would be like throwing away money. Or, in other words, it would be like shorting the entire mortgage market. Buying credit default swaps for senior tranches or AAA rated mortgage backed securities is like betting even the best of the mortgage market is going to default, meaning that the rest of the mortgage market would default and collapse as well. In 2008, a few people dug into the mortgage-backed security market. They saw that credit agencies were misvaluing the assets in these securities. They saw that even senior tranches were crap, and they bought a ton of credit default swaps. This is like realizing your neighbor is a terrible driver and buying insurance on his car so that when he crashes, you get paid. Banks were happy to oblige because they themselves didn't know how bad the CDO securities were. They themselves didn't even look at what was making up their mortgage-backed securities that they were selling. When the market did collapse, the people who shorted the market by buying credit default swaps got a massive payday, like 500% return. So if they bought the credit default swap for $100, they'd instantly get back $500 when the market collapsed. 